uh, going into the game uh, without Josh was to uh, just play a solid basketball game, uh, have a game where everybody could play, played that hard and played that well. So we got that accomplished. It was giving Connor an opportunity uh, to really play and get on his game. And I'm so pleased for him that he's worked so hard uh, to get his weight down, to get in condition, uh, to get his body stronger. And I thought he had a phenomenal game and being able to show people just how good he is. Uh, excellent touch around the basket with the right hand, with the left hand. Him and Val uh, give you just a, a great one-two punch down there uh, at that position. Uh, I thought we played well. Uh, I thought Ike played particularly well. I challenged those guys to rebound. He gets seven rebounds. He makes up for Josh not being there. And um, just a good balanced game for us. Good game to go to the break on. Obviously, you want to have your full team available, but but having the absence of Josh, did that allow Connor to kind of blossom in some ways that his presence might not have? Um, I, I don't know about Connor because there are different positions. Whether Josh was there or not, that ball was going to go into Connor a lot to, to get him on his game. But what it did as a team, it allowed you to figure some things out without your best player on the floor. And that's always a good thing because you, you take – you know, 14 points, 12 rebounds off the floor, and a guy that just knows how to play so well. Uh, I thought we struggled out of the gate in the first three or four possessions, but then we got into a rhythm. Uh, the passing in the first half was phenomenal between Q and, and uh, Connor and, and Junior on that baseline. So we were able to make up for Josh not being there, and that was the big point of the game. Now, when you bring him back to the mix again, I just think it makes us that much better. Is, is this team learning how to uh, kind of create its own energy even with a, a gym where a lot of students are on break? They, they create their own energy because the competition is so good. And when you have a team uh, literally this deep, we try to talk to opposing team coaches. And probably the best compliment we got from a coach was that you have no drop off from who comes into the game. And that guy in the middle makes you a lot different than last year, talking about Val, and that's without even seeing Connor on his game. So I think the fact that you have so much competition, uh, we're so competitive in practice that it just carries over to the game. So whether there's people here or not, this is a group that's, that's mentally conditioned to play hard, to get out and defend and do some things. It didn't seem like uh, you had to coax the guards into to feeding it into Connor in the post too much. Well, no, I mean, he's a, a huge target. And if he gets the ball down low, it's very difficult to stop him because he has such great hands and, and such a great touch with, with the right or with the left. And I, I think they have felt confident enough in practice with his ability. Before he went down about a month or so ago, he, he was just phenomenal in practice. You just could not stop him. And you saw a taste of that tonight, but he can get better. How do you now kind of mix him into the rotation when Josh is back there and, and make sure Connor's still getting the same minutes and being effective like he was tonight? Well, again, it isn't, it isn't Josh because Josh will Josh shows sub in at the four spot. Connor's at the five spot. So when you've got Val, Connor, Josh, and Junior, uh, that's a really good four-headed monster sitting in there that you can just rotate that four in and out. Most of your better teams will have four big guys. Well, we got another one sitting over there, Robert Franks, who has skill set too that's, that's really, really good. And then we can play small and, and put Brett there or put Darren King there. So we just, we're just developing this bench. Uh, we don't need to blow people out by 30 and 40. We need to develop and give guys an opportunity to see footage of themselves, what they're doing right, what they're wrong, get them on their game, get their confidence, get in the rhythm, look at different combinations. So uh, I don't. when Josh comes back, he just makes us better. It just gives you more weapons, more guys you can turn to over the course of a game. Is this the trend you'd like to see keep going? Is each, every single game a completely different player is having their breakout performance? You know what? We've talked about that before, that we have the ability to do that. We can't because, again, it's a team that's so evenly balanced. One night it could be Renard. You saw him open up you know, the exhibition game with that monster game. Then came Leontay. Then Ike has a career night. Then Josh just does his thing. Now here comes Val. Now here comes Connor. I'm looking forward to the night where they're all on their game at the same time. And that's going to be something to behold when we can get them all there. And that's what we're striving to do, to get them to where everybody is on their game. Any combination you put on the floor, I'm getting their best game out of them. Do you anticipate having Josh back by Gonzaga? Uh, I'll know more on that over the next few days, but I would hope so. I hope he'd be back by Saturday. Were the, were the 17 turnovers a little too, too much for your liking? There were. There was a negative. I thought we were a little bit careless with the ball, and I didn't think we had enough assist in the game as well either. So we'll look at tape and figure out where that came from. I thought we had like a 10-point swing in the game at one point in time late in the second half after we were up 26. 
and with the lineup on the floor, but until I can look at tape and find out where they came from. But we're going to have, with the way we run, 12, 13 turnovers I can live with, 17, 18, 19, 20 turnovers, that's too many. That's, that's not, we're not making the right reads or we're being careless with the ball when we have those kind of turnovers. Right, thank okay. you. Thanks, Coach. You bet. Thanks, Thank you.